Tonight's Project Earth, amid this ongoing heat wave, we're turning our attention to ice and how it can provide answers about our changing climate. Our meteorologist Zoe Mintz got to take part in this kind of research herself and explains how looking back can help us understand what's ahead. As summer is on track to become the hottest on record. We have portable ACs. They don't really help out a lot. In the coldest corners of Earth, scientists are digging deep to recover an icy record of what the atmosphere was like hundreds of thousands of years ago. It's amazing that we have this ability to see back into time and to see that the Earth's environment, including the climate, has changed radically and in, in many different ways. It's a powerful tool called ice coring. Ice coring science is a major achievement of modern science. Berkeley's Dr. Kurt Cuffey is an ice core paleoclimatologist. He says with the technique, researchers drill into glaciers and ice sheets to retrieve vertical cylinders of ice created from hundreds of centuries of snowfall. You get layers of ice that get older and older and older as you go down. Each layer is a frozen time capsule, telling the story about what the Earth was like when that specific layer of snow fell, trapped inside teeny bubbles of ancient air. These tiny bubbles, they contain in an in a, in a undisturbed way the atmosphere of the past. I learned firsthand about ice coring when I studied abroad in Greenland, with almost 80% of the island covered by ice. My professor. It's so great to see you again. Physicist and paleoclimatologist Sune Olander Rasmussen from the prestigious Niels Bohr Institute in Copenhagen. We spoke recently on Zoom about ice cores. So from this cylinder, which is about this big, we can retrieve all kinds of inf information about past climate. One example, in the trapped air bubbles, scientists can measure levels of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane, and compare the data to current levels. In the cores, scientists can also reconstruct past air temperatures and see traces of volcanic events. I do remember seeing that really long ice core and there was a very stark black layer. And it's like, why is this there? It's so cool that you can see exactly when the volcanoes erupted. There are many volcanic layers, but most of them are not visible. The, the ash will either be in so tiny particles that you can't see them with the naked eye. By understanding the science, the physics, the cold hard facts of how and why climate changed in the past, Scientists hope to better predict what may occur in the future. If we understand the physics of what happened then, we can put that physics into the climate models that we use for present day and for future predictions. Earth has experienced many ice ages that are broken up by periods of warmer temperatures, also known as interglacials, where CO2 levels are naturally higher. We're currently in that warm period, but scientists believe this time is different. What's unique about the current situation is the the rapidity and magnitude with which the composition of the atmosphere is changing. The composition of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere now is, is about 30% higher than it is naturally. If we keep burning fossil fuel, it will go to uh, several times the natural value. More than anything else, it's really a major concern about what will happen in the, the century to come if we continue on this trajectory. The hope? that the science won't get frozen out.